well, you might alleviate yourself from the penalties and interest for just the filing. However, you'll still get hit with penalties and interest for paying uh, late. So you just want to keep those two things kind of separate in your mind. Now, obviously, many times the reason that people put themselves on extension is because they don't know how much money they owe because they have to do the taxes because the tax system is complex. I need to do the taxes before I know how much I owe. This is often the case for sole proprietors, for example, who haven't got their bookkeeping together to the point where they can do their taxes, possibly, and therefore they don't know how much they owe. Well, what are you going to do? You still want to try to overpay the taxes a little bit so you can kind of shoot for a refund, even though you have no idea how much tax you owe. Why? Because you're trying to avoid the penalties and interest of paying late. So caution, an automatic six month extension to file doesn't extend the time to pay your tax. So if you don't pay your tax by the original due date of your return, you will owe interest on the unpaid tax and may owe penalties. You can see form 4868 for instructions. Now, some of the software that's the free file software, if, you're, if your income is below a certain threshold, which you can find on the IRS website, may help you to determine whether or not you owe the tax. So you can kind of check that out. And I'm not sure if the free software will allow you to file the extension uh, automatically as well. But the extension is like a one paper form. It's a pretty easy thing to file. And if you owe money, you might be able to basically file an extension by basically making uh, the payment at the same time and assigning the payment to the extension so if you are a U.S. citizen or resident alien, you may qualify for an automatic extension of time to file without filing form 4868. You qualify if on the due date of your return, you meet one of the following conditions. You live outside the United States or Puerto Rico and your main place of business or post of duty is outside the United States and Puerto Rico. So you are in military or naval service on duty outside the United States and Puerto Rico. This extension gives you an extra two months to file and pay the tax, but interest will be charged from the original due date of the return on any uh, unpaid tax. So you must include a statement showing that you meet the requirements. If you are still unable to file your return by the end of the two month period, you can get an additional four months if no later than June 17th, 2024, you filed the form 4868. So a little bit different on the timeline where you get that automatic two months. So uh, this four month extension of time to file doesn't extend the time to pay uh, your tax. So same kind of thing with the payment uh, of the tax situation there as well. So that is the difference here. So the extension gives you an extra two months to file and pay the tax, but interest will be charged from the original due date of the return on any unpaid tax.